Hi, my name is Hannah, and I'm an occupational therapy student at Toronto University of Nevada. Hi, my name is Shirley, and I'm also an occupational therapy student from Toronto University of Nevada. And today we're going to talk to you guys and teach you a little bit about the Purdue Pegboard. As so. It's a super quick and easy uh, assessment. It takes about 15 to 30 minutes, and it's used to measure finger dexterity and gross motor function of the hand, wrist, and arm. Um, and it's specifically for individuals who may be working uh, manual dexterity jobs and jobs that require a lot of hand use. So to do this test, you simply just need a clipboard that's provided by the company, and inside the box they will have pens, color, and washer. And you need a menu, a quick reference, and also a stopwatch. And we'll be administrating one test for you guys. And you can do one trial or three trials. All right, so this is the Purdue pegboard. This is a test to see how quickly and accurately you can work with your hands. Before you begin each part of the test, you will be told what to do, and then you will have an opportunity to practice. Be sure you understand exactly what to do, okay? Mm -hmm. So this first test, you're gonna pick up one pin at a time with your right hand from the right-handed cup. Starting with the top hole, place each pin in the right-handed row. Now you may insert a few pins for practice. If during the testing time you drop a pin, do not stop to pick it up. Um, simply continue by picking up another pin out of the cup. So top row, right hand. Practice? Yeah, now take out the practice pins and put them back. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, practice a little bit. Okay. All right. When I say begin, place as many pins as you can in the right handed row. Starting with the top hole, work as rapidly as you can until I say stop. Are you ready? Begin. All right, stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With your left hand, pick up one pin at a time with your left hand from the left-handed cup. Place each pin in the left-handed row, starting with the top hole. You may insert a few pins for practice. All right, stop. Take out the practice pins and put them back in the left-handed cup. When I say begin, place as many pins as you can in the left-handed row. Starting with the top hole, work as rapidly as you can until I say stop. Are you ready? Yes. Begin. Stop. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. For this part of the test, you will be using both of your hands and at the same time. Pick up one pen from the right hand, right here. Cup with your right hand at the, at the same time. Pick up a, a pen from the left hand cup with your left hand. And place the pen down on the rows. Now you may insert a few pens with both hands for practice. Stop. Pick out the practice pins and put them back into the proper cups. When I say begin, place as many pins as you can with both pens. Starting with the top hole of the both rows, work as rapidly as you can until I say stop. Are you ready? Yes. Begin. So pick up one pen from the right hand cup with your right hand and while you're placing it on the top hole in the right hand row, pick up a washer with your left hand. As soon as the pen has been placed, drop the washer over the pen. 
While the washer is be being placed over the pen with your left hand, pick up a collar with your right hand. While the collar is being dropped over the pen, pick up another washer with your left hand and drop it over to the collar. This completes the first assembly, consisting of a pen, a washer, a collar, and a washer. While the final washer for the first assembly is being placed with your left hand, start the second assembly immediately by picking up another pen with your right hand. Place it in the next hole, drop a washer over it with your left hand, and so on, completing another assembly. Now, make a few assembly from practice. Stop. Now return the pens, collars, and washers to the paper cups. When I say begin, make as many assembly as you can, beginning with the top right hand hole. Work as rapidly as you can until I said stop. Are you ready? Yes. Begin. Okay, so after you finish doing the three trial for individual, you can start calculating their score. For both right hand, left hand, and both hand, you simply add all the trials together and get the average and put it in the box. Notice for the right plus left and plus both, you have to add the trial from each column down to get the score for each trial and you can add them together and get the average. For assembly, you simply do the same thing, add each of the trial score together and divide it by three to get to the average. After you have calculating all the average, you can compare it on the quick reference mean depending on the individual's work type. For, uh, for our example, since, Jen, since Je Jenny Ryder is a female that works in hourly production factory, so we'll be looking at female hourly production worker and compare to the mean. Perfect. And then you can look at the Purdue Pegboard Quick Reference Guide, and if you just find what occupation they're at. So Miss Jenny Ryder is a female hourly production worker. Um, so for each of the categories of right hand, left hand, both hand, right plus left plus both, and assembly, you can look at the standard deviations and the average and see if she is within normal limits. So she's average. So in the case of Jenny, her scores indicate that she is within normal limits for each of the categories.